What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run up on last time, we saw off the Italian army that was trying to recapture, not the Italian army, the Spanish army that was trying to attack Rome. And we also saw off a Mughal Empire army which was trying to invade our territories down here. So we've got to be very, very careful that we don't um, allow them to become too powerful. Fortunately, the Ottomans are in there, as are the Westphalians. The Ottomans are actually pushing down to Kabul, so are the Ottomans at war with the Mughal Empire? No, they're trading with them, but they're just at war with Persia for now. But they're not allied with them. Which is, which is good. Then we also have some forces in the centre of the country which aren't quite needed so I'm not bothered about pushing eastwards. I might send, well I think I'm going to send one of them to go take New Mexico and then one of them may end up coming back to this area to act as a bit of a defensive force because right now my area, my home territories are completely unprotected um, let's hop back to Europe for the moment and I would really like to recruit some spies so I can send them out to like keep an eye on what's going on we are at war with the Austrians, technically, but I don't see them coming after us, and uh, we are, we have garrisoned Venice quite streng straight strongly. Um, I may even move these troops out to go meet up with this general. Oh, they've gone to the port. Meet up with the general. Meet up with Amadeus Crisp, because the idea is that one attacks Milan and one attacks Genoa. That prevents these armies from being able to reinforce each other in one large battle. So let's hit end turn. Ideally I would take Turin, because then it would mean I've got a nice bottleneck to defend myself against the French. Um, but that's not going to happen. Ooh. I mean, I'll do that. Absolutely I'll do that. <laughs> Our very nice elite army, which we're just getting lots of experience. And we're going to chew up some conscripts, more conscripts, more conscripts and militia, and then just garrison with regular line infantry. Let's do it. Simpler means of their dispatch. Because in the grand scheme of things, all that will happen is pound them into debt in the open field. And it will make the capture of their cities uh, more of a fait accompli. Certainly the capture of Rome will help because it means we've got access to high tax value regions. Okay, so let's put... So how does... what's the terrain like? I mean... I, I mean, that's quite a nice hill to drop your artillery on. But then again, this provides a reasonable field of fire. But then again, it is just this rise that's a bit tricky. Here's okay, but it's a bit of a defilade from underneath this ridge. So the hill is probably the technically the best place to put it. I mean, I could put some down here in a battle line. So, get my Hessians and some line infantry to form up on one flank. Then my rather combat-heavy right flank, I'll, I'll actually deploy once the battle's ready. Then I could have a couple of guns further up the hill to have a bit more of a higher level view. When I say high level view, I mean in terms of what they shoot at. Because these will be obviously battlefield priority. These will be more strategic targets of opportunity. I suppose. And let's bring our general back. Good god. Here come the Genoans. Run! You hold fire. Let's put some infantry on this flank of the guns to protect them. Let's move these guys up into a position ready 
to help defend the guns. God damn, I forgot about my rangers. I mean, classic empire. Everyone run! To be honest, they need to get up here. Form two squares. Everyone else charge in. So many cavalry charge horns. Good god, this might just become a massive brawl. Do they have bayonets? No, they do not. Okay, fire well. God damn. Good job, these are my foot guards and my marines. Get stuck in, lads. This suddenly certainly got messy right off the bat, didn't it? Provincial cav might cause some problems for my rangers. But they are not my major concern. These guys can snipe at the provincial cav. Push on. Okay, engage. Engage the line infantry to the rear with the grenadiers. Go support this unit of infantry because they are dying. Okay, the general's dead. Let's pull the cavalry out because now it's become a brawl. These guys are facing the wrong way. Come on, break this unit of infantry. Just run straight through. You go into them, you go into them, you go into this foot line, line infantry. Ideally from the rear. Good stuff. Oh, good god, it's a... Charging. Come on, the seven. Come on, the Magnificent Seventh. Yes. Come on, lads. You're needed down at the front.
Come on, lads. Shot some of my own cannons. The aim of the demi cannons up on the ridge. Nope. Because they were going to charge. That's where the back of my men is. Push through. You engage the infantry. You burn through, push through, chase down the militia conscripts. They're going to try to chase down my cavalry, but if you do manage to make them route, they'll still have done too much damage. Come on, the Worcester Regiment. So I've got my Marines in here. Firing to the back of the combat, which might not be a bad idea. Come on, let's get you guys involved. Okay, now go after the guns. Form line. Total rout. Good stuff. Let's get my general into the mix. 45th Regiment of Militia. How much militia are you building? Hold fire with this artillery. Don't need to hold fire with them because they're. Oh, they might cause a bit of a problem. Let's hold fire just in case. You're holding fire, you're holding fire. Rather you go after their militia. Because they have actually formed a little line. Thank God that's an enemy general. <laughs> the mine like recently, I wouldn't be surprised if it was friendly. And now these guys are getting shot to bits. what you get bringing militia against a full regular army absolutely continue we want to push on into their heartland I mean granted the the battle against the Genoese got a bit scrappy but it was quite a surprise to see them on my flank like that Okay, they've escaped. They're going to escape. They're almost dead. Go help out my general. One 
guy left. Got him. It's all my cavalry. Ah, oh, they routed. Close victory. Wasn't that close? Yeah, we lost 900 men. That's a lot more than I would have liked. But they're dead. They're dead. The garrisons are gone. And we can safely lay siege to them. Plenishing them. That's all. And then just kill them as they're... So that's if... Only with Spain. Spain's in the Italian peninsula. Victory condition. Any effort thinking about... Think of invading India. Because India, I also have myself too thin. Especially if I'm trying to still build up an economy. So the British stack is still on the move. I, be, I am so super curious if, if they decided to attack me. Hmm. The Barbary States are going to be the Barbary States. And just saunter around raiding everyone. Let them be. That's what I say. This would be quite good fun to actually take. I'm taking Madrid. Unused land suitable for plant. Aruba and get plantations and a weaver's cottage, which is a good investment. Upper Canada get a HK, uh, uh, industrial building. Andrew Hamilton, good defender, plus one battle when defending on land. Oops, the Genoese went back into the city. Oh, that's annoying that you've gone that weird direction. So that's a, still a bunch of. Enemies. Okay, let's do do some of this to maintain. Ex try and maintain experience. Good. Same with you guys. Good. Same with you guys. Good. Then I want to recruit a unit of just regular line will do to help beef up Andrew Hamilton. Uh, maintain siege at Lombardy till I can maintain siege and take Genoa. Good divinity is the Protestant building, so let's rebuild. Let's repair. I can't build a sloop because it's broken. I'm not sure how to disperse these for now, so let's just move these up to the middle. Well, they're not needed in Venice. Venice is well catered for. Yes, my lord. Let's move them over here. Let's repair you. Still recruiting. So when you your port's going to be built in two turns. Hanover got destroyed. The Prussians are on the move. The Prussians are driving westward because they can't go east because the Polish are there. Tech advance. Awesome. So. Go for reorganised procurement. Charlotte, go for separation of powers. So Venice is a great arsenal. Good. Okay. Let's go to the farmland, repair the governance residence, and do some replenishment. Because I would like to pull some of these armies out, because they're not doing as much good there as they could otherwise be. Oh, can't leave Louisiana. Because I'm definitely not concerned, but aware that. Um, 
Not to be honest, they're very, very horrendously friendly. They don't care about my expansion because I'm expanding elsewhere. They're at war with Spain, so they like me. For, they're like, like they're at war with Spain, Prussia, and Austria. With the Cherokee, Cherokee, they like me, but not as much. But they don't care about my military expansion overseas, which is good. And they don't care about my military expansion um, in the Americas because I'm actually taking it off of rebels. Okay, let's have a look at my ministers. Let's boot the Europe minister because right now I've got the, I've got to a point where I've got enough income, or I've got enough wealthy towns that I think it'd be worth having a better minister. But let's see what happens. Still trying to kill that Spanish priest. Oh, for the Spanish might. Ooh, do I intercept them? Um, no. I'll take my turn of re replenishment. Thank you very much. Because the only thing that's going to happen is the same thing next turn, except I'll have more men. So, more leeway if I bugger it up. Let's see what Russia does next. Norway and then start to take normally Russia doesn't read and doesn't invade order they're effective with it whereas now Russia's fairly quickly done this it has made me intrigued as to what they would do next So now we're not allies, so they could go for me, theoretically. Oh yeah, they require a bit edgy that the Brits are there. Cool. Then Barbary States, I don't care. Just irritate the Spanish. That's all I want from the Barbary States. That's what I think would be fascinating is the Ottomans. There is unused Ooh. land suitable for farming in this Perfect. Region. Building farms here will help the population to It's not farmland, that was a That was a cotton field. Oh, that's not ours, I can't destroy that. Um, but yes, I had a, I got a, a priest recruited in Italy, which is very, very handy. Because it means I could start converting these towns, and even the religious unrest isn't huge. Um, it still gives you a bit of leeway when it comes to schools and things like that. And also you can see the religious happiness, it's almost like a double benefit. Not only do you get rid of the negative, you get the positive. I don't even think that's a more double, that's not a double negative, but oh well. Um, so you're replenished. We don't have a target yet. <gasps> Your agent was detected. I don't care. Try kill him again. Damn. So our mines have been built. Okay, let's upgrade the building in Naples. Upgrade the farm. Upgrade the church school. Another farm, fishing fleet. Let's get this guy over to Toronto. Upgrade it to a dockyard. Good stuff. So now you guys should have a few more troops. So let's pull you, you, you and you out. You've got space for three troops, so let's put three units of infantry in. Forward. Ready for order. You have... Let's do the same treatment on you. So triple experience infantry, but I doubt we're going to be able to keep that. Because no one else has triple. And I think if I put... Like a double together, it will probably water it down too much. Yeah, it did. When it dropped down to two experience. That's not terrible. So let's... So all the guys that have double experience are... Now full. So 
this unit of 21 I used to boost the single unit and then let's group these together good thing that's everyone and then let's take this unit of line get him into Amadeus Crisps army ooh that might be fun if I fight them draw off this I draw off this reinforcing army well, it depends. Who's got the mortars? That's what I don't want to fight. I think I might do this one. Andrew Hamilton. It's not got the mortars in it. Now let's attack. Although weirdly, it does have them. Have, it doesn't have them having a Genoan reinforcing army. But I thought that's the garrison. But I don't know. So. Let's crack on. Well, this is really dodgy terrain. Don't like that so much. Guns would be interesting up here. Although, is that where the reinforcements are going to come from? <laughs> yeah, I might actually change that. It's a good position. It's a good position, but I'm concerned about the reinforcements. Probably too, too many for in here. Yep, one unit too many. But two units is too few. Oh no, three is actually pretty good. So I deploy them a bit better once we're outside of the. Once we've got a bit more flexibility in the game zone. Keep my ranges in reserve with my weak cavalry, such as it is. Oh, okay. They're all going to come from... Well, not all of them, but some of them are going to come from the... Come from the rear, I think. So they did have... Unless one of the armies didn't come in. Or it could be that that garrison was a... It was a garrison problem, and that's why the Genoans haven't shown up. Because they're definitely not... Well, they're definitely not coming in. Oh, dear. Poor Milan... Milanians? Milanians. Stretch out a line. Because these poor devils are just completely exposed to all of our fire. So let's speed up time. Because I thought there was going to be some a nasty something coming from the west. Or the south. That's the east. Well yeah, I thought it would be coming from over here. Because that is the south. But I suppose not. Still, good to watch some nice, simple... Well, once this army is destroyed, I'll move up and engage the reinforcing army. I just want to watch some... Some simple troops get destroyed with musket fire. Good, their fire wheel is turned off. Poor souls. So much death. So quickly. Oh, they've got a bit of a defilade here. As long as they don't walk the crest of the hill. Okay, so let's... I mean, we definitely want to do this. I mean, to be honest, I might even just do this and kind of... turn the guns off completely. Good. Push up. Oh no, they've come back. They have come back. Come on, make them route, damn you. Good. 
good. And let's deploy. Should have deployed the cavalry a bit sooner than that. But I am a fool. Canister shot then if they will not clear away. Good. Provincial cav. Let's bring my cav over here. Let's probably turn my artillery off completely. Maybe limber them up and try to put them up on this hill, if they'll even get there in time. So let's speed up time, because I suspect I'll have to. Who are you going to go for, eh? It's a dinky square, but you're a dinky cavalry unit. The cavalry's coming in. Okay, let's turn this unit firewall off. Same with you, firewall off. Instead, square on, square off, push up right in their face. Good lads. Let's drive. I bet this infantry unit is getting pounded to hell. Yep. Let's get them out of the way. Getting fancy and they want to charge, eh? Fire a will. Fire a will. To be honest, you can probably stay where you are. And just fire at will. Where's Mon General? Let's bring him up. But a bit behind the line. Let's charge this militia because they're taking pot shots. You want to get involved in the melee combat? Sure thing, pal. Let's dice. Broken except some garrison line running around in the rear. I think that's all of them anyway. Oh no, some of them have. No, oh, no. Some hopes. God, I'm just charging with my cavalry. Cavalry route, but I suspect when I charge them, them in. Yep. 
That's the end. I think I might. It's quite a win. The battle serves not to be to the vigilant, the active, the brave. Dead. Retreated. Milan is ours. So. Let's repair and replenish. And then let's do this whole experienced troops cheeking around thing. So this really experienced small unit needs to go to the most experienced line unit. Of which the only one is the 51st. So you, I'm afraid, sir, are going to probably... Oh, your colonial lines, you can't even do that. You're just yourself. Apart from that, I don't think there's anyone that should suffer too badly having to be recruited from the ground up. Now's probably the time to bring in... So if I remove... Take my grenadiers out. I can also get my marines in. So I can beef up my marines, maintain the experience. And... Orders, your majesty. Um, beef up my grenadiers while having a more of a chance to maintain that experience Lord. then move my rangers back in full army awesome and then the next part will be to take Genoa but looking at the timer I think that's the end of this part so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for carving out more of an Italian empire with the 13 colonies cheers guys